Y'all want y'all want to learn about some otters, guys? There's a whole section of the internet dedicated to making fun of niggas who have rats. Why? It's so specific. This should be going hard, son. They'd be like, they'd be like your ancestors' law and just showing flowers, weeds, and all kinds of shit. Your fucking law, bitch ass nigga ain't got no shelter. Guys, before we before we get into this though, like seriously, you guys gotta get like some like you know them little them little powder uh, things that you know like uh, go to Walmart, go get those you know those little straws. Not like literal straws, but like flavor straws with the powder in it. That did you put in your water? The flavor drinks stuff, the flavor powder drink stuff that you put in your water. Go find a Skittles box. It's like a Skittles package. Get and then get the um. Get one that says peach on it. Like get also one that also says peaches. Like that has peaches in the box as well with all the other ones. Mix and then mix the Skittles one, mix the apple, strawberry, and then get the the peach straw. Mix them all together, bro. It's so good. It's so good, bro. It's so good. I don't know what, like this is so good. <laughs> like, yo, it's it's. Oh my gosh. And he got a kick to it too. Lafford Galaxy 101. Go ahead and go straight to the video. Full sponsored, sponsored by, by my new foundation. foundation. It's okay because it's an otter. Seriously though, what is this game? You guys need to like let me know what this is about, bro. Let me know what this is, man. I, I have no idea what that. Life is just a never-ending game of Jenga. Where all you're trying to do is build something worth the effort without it all crashing down and scratching your mother's head. What? Huh? Just kind of right then. Actually, kind of. Mm -hmm. The thing with Jenga is every block is important, but some blocks are just an instant game over. Nature's kind of the same way. Every animal, from mosquitoes to monkeys, from, from pigeons to platypuses, everything with a heartbeat has some type of role in this giant ball of dirt and water. But we're losing some animals might be bad for the environment. Losing certain animals could be GGs for the whole thing. The worst part is we usually don't know which block is the trip block until someone plays God and pulls it. Like with the sea otter. Okay, disclaimer, I don't think I've ever been more conflicted about an animal. Like, like I'm smart enough to know these water wolverines are wild animals that'll play gotcha notes with their teeth, and they'll have you looking like you could unlove Voldemort's home. But I'm also dumb enough to let them, just because they're cute. I'm aware they have one of the most violent mating rituals I've ever read about, but they also hold yeah. their jaws sleeping, and they wrap their babies in cup blankets. And also, this guy's also on TikTok. The thing is that without these water wolverines, the ocean will almost certainly be in a pack. And it's all because sea otters need a borderline heme disorder just to survive. These guys are all marine mammals, but one is not like the others. The otters, the otters don't have blubber or layer of fat to keep them warm. When you, when you live in the ocean full time, that's living life on veteran difficulty. Which is why sea otters can put away 25% of their body weight in food every single day. All these yeah, animals are not and not free from otter to article. 25% in food would be like me downing 95 Big Macs. I know this because I did the math. Don't ask me if I have a problem, I probably do. These furry food vacuums have a grocery list of basically anything that is nailed down. And the most important thing they eat are sea urchins. Motivated male can put away up to 50 sea urchins in a 24 hour day. Get the Which is what makes this high sea honey badger one of those do not touch Jenga blocks. Cause sea urchins. Hold up, so much information is being slapped right now with about otters. What the fuck? Are sea urchins. Motivated male can put away up to 50 sea urchins in a 24 hour day. Get 20. Sea urchins. What? Motivated male can put away up to 50 sea urchins in a 24 hour day. Get the fuck out of here. Which is what sea honey badger one of those do not touch Jenga blocks. Because sea urchins are vicious vegans that eat kelp like they get paid for. Kelp forests provide food as well as shelter and a nursery for several species of animals. Not only that, but this water campus will literally spawn camp. They'll go into this weird hibernation on top of a kelp bed, but only reanimate to eat any seaweed that sprouts up. So without the harvest of the sea urchins in Jack, a bunch of animals will basically become homeless, if not starve the past tense completely. Pretty much jangling this entire community. 
and, and it literally took Neil hunting this live action plush toy into extinction before he realized this. Show this picture before for a reason. In, in places where sea otters are stabbed fed into oblivion and the sea urchins are wild and out, what used to be cup wars quickly became underwater deserts. Basically, the worst thing in Xbox. Instead of a PWI, this death spot represents the loss of an ecosystem that actually helps us more than most people realize. Add the fact that kelp wars help fight climate change, and you begin to realize just how wild the butterfly effect really is. Some guy like the way a certain coat fell, next thing you know, global warming's up 3 1 on us. Yeah, but like, we don't really talk about how much kelping we did. Like, like, put, put that in perspective, like, how, what was the, what, what, what East India, India Company, what the fuck? My nigga, they had pelts on five tons. tons. Yeah. Damn, that's good. You got me fucking buffalo and rabbit and fucking shit you gotta kill to get tons of pelts? Hey, you know, I'm not gonna say I'm just fine. Legit, bro, I'm not gonna lie. You can always like, like these days now they like, we can make artificial clothes, like out of recycled clothing, like in a sense. But eh, then again, it's kind of trash though. Hmm. I don't know. Just gotta think about that one. Okay. Like artificial, like actual. Who's we? Like garments, like from like leaves. But then again, I don't know if anybody can wear that. I think they'll probably get allergic. Just because I hear that's allergic to grass. You can make fun of regionally, historically, uh, uh, you know. Where can I get the thermal string from? I mean, you can wear thermal clothing. I think so. Like I think like like thermal clothing or some shit. You know what I mean? White, White people have put a lot of animals, animals on shirts. Oh, bro, hunting <laughs> for <laughs> trains is <laughs> just the city of it. Oh from, my from, gosh! From, from, from the top to the I'm bottom already at the bottom, man. Look at that shit. Mm -hmm. you know what they did to people. So good, man. They did it. Like and everything, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just it'll leave you it the drink literally leaves you just go like that's how you know a drink is good bro oh my gosh <laughs> this is a wolf eel it's not a wolf it's not an eel it's a fish fresh out of Tim Burton's wet dream if you've never heard of it before, it's because pretty privilege is painfully real. But I will say this, Nemo's paralysis demon has a relationship many people wish they had. Wolfish mate for life. When a male and female are they basically move in together. And when they have kids, they'll take turns getting groceries. One staying behind to guard the eggs while the other one eats. It's basically like how I feel about people from high school that like got together. And he was like, they didn't stand for each other. Like, look at them. It'd be like that. Looking like, like that, one that does stay behind. Well, I, was, I could imagine being still, still being with the person that didn't have proper circulation. At, at worst, worst dang, right. it was that bad. This, did you just hear what this guy just said? Damn, it was it horrible. Well, listen, I listen. I could imagine being still, still being with the person that didn't have proper circulation. What? How? Bro, if I had a high school sweetheart, bro, I, I probably wouldn't even be. In, I wouldn't even be like sh like streaming it with this kind of background right now like we would be in that we already would be living together <laughs> like <laughs> what you mean like right nearly at high school we would have already been like all right we gonna do this we gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna live together right after we save up from blah 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 bro like what you mean anybody that's still in high school like there's still hope just don't force it though Okay, just don't force it, please. <laughs> I've seen people do that shit, and it's just not right. <laughs> it just ain't it, bro. All right, I've seen people, some people do that, bro. You gotta just let it flow. It like what's meant for you is meant for you, bro. Cause it will not run from you. It will not make you chase it. 
it will come right at you. Like, love, for example. You have no escape from that. So, a girl out there or a guy out there is going to fall in love with you, bro. Or girl. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, man. Just saying. Like, if I were, like, like, you know, like, that's, that could be, like, at a job, for example. You can, you can, you know, fall in love with a girl there. Or, you know, you can be, like, um, or, f for example, we'll go to, um, I don't know, like, for me, like, the high school girls, when I was in, like, middle school and high school, like, I, I'll talk about that kind of stuff, like, when, when it's actually needed, but. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? At worst, she was raised parents, and at best, the marriage was slapping in the media. Who would have liked that for circulation? At worst, she was raised parents, and at best, the marriage was slapping in the media. But she didn't know. She looked great for her family, though. Man. Remember when you wore that drag and you just told me about it? Speaking of media, that tattoo will make this fish another important block in the ocean's Jenga Tower. Since they'll use that demonic overbite, the animals like the sea urchin. And the Atlantic wolf fish. Again, the trick's not perfect. So honestly, it's just fuck the sea urchin. Like, it's not, they're not talking about balance. Wait, what? Anything that fucks up sea urchins is good for everyone. Yeah, so we should start going to get them. Why don't y'all use your evil extinction powers for this? Yeah, you're like, like a sea urchin sock or something. Right? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you can't try it. You can't, like, like it, is it sea urchin like, edible, though? Body suits, like, for the water. Like, you just take all the little things. things. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I, I, I should probably look into that. You feel it? I bet you Batman can make a cold outfit that is for sea urchins. Sea urchin back scratchers. I'm sure that. Neurotoxin with a brain on your skin. What, what is it that's in the little spines, spines that isn't good for you to touch? A, a sea urchin, right? I don't know. <laughs> I avoid <laughs> all type of water. Oh, that's, that's right. right! You're scared, scared of water stuff. Not bad. bad. This is just what we do. We'll make it short. We'll, we'll do the whole thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I just like... like There's a bunch of different types of keystone species, but one of the most famous and one I like to learn about first are probably beavers. Since beavers shape their entire communities just by being themselves. They're both tooth engineers and will build dams to create ponds. In the middle of these ponds are lodges, and that is the beaver's home address. Having waterside real estate makes it less likely for them to get turned into a happy meal by bears, wolves, cougars, coyotes, owls, lynxes, vodka. If you see why they need the lodge, it's out of their world and probably north. They take loose from everybody. But, but it also means in some places beavers are single-handedly responsible for creating wetlands. Making Bro, the beavers, beavers are smart though, how they, they built their stuff. Beaver right? dams and they actually work together and build all this stuff. Things the water. They, they also help clean up the water. That's probably where the streams and about, about half of the endangered know, species in North America. When you really think about it though, hold on, like the first, you know, ever like man to walk on Earth and all that shit. I wonder how they in, were inspired to make buildings and stuff. Did they see be, like be, like the their beef the beavers ancestors do that stuff too? Cause I like in a sense like 
did they get inspired by other animals around the world, like in a sense? Depend on what wetlands the beavers have engineered. Basically, Basically take, take out this plus size water gerbil. You're just sensing several animals to go off to. Look at that thing. Also, if you play the sound of running water on a speaker, beavers will instinctively start building an ammo that has nothing to do with anything <laughs> else other than have fun. But unlike, unlike beavers, most keystone species are usually predators, and that concept's pretty simple. Without an equalizer to eat the prey, the prey would ironically eat themselves and everything around them to death. Which is why tiger sharks also earn a keystone oh, type. Right. Here are some things that have been found inside a tiger shark. License plate. I'm sorry, I actually zoned out. Which, Which is why most sharks are less seagrass and shellfish, because they like to graze on seagrass. Seagrass sets an important habitat and shelter for fish and shellfish. It's an easy domino effect. No tiger sharks means more sea turtles means less seagrass means more fish and shellfish on the streets. Or in this case, reefs. Which is why most sharks are considered keystones in the ocean community. For example, when most of the great white sharks in the north of Mexico got patched up, that led to the number of cow nose rays exploded. Those rays proceeded to decimate nearly the entire population of scallops, clams, and oysters. Sharks are the ultimate equalizer. Take them out, and that tower gets less stable than the marriage of a comedian slapping back in the 90s rapping air to Bel Air. Yes, that's how it takes the tower top of the world to just how important that block was. Best example is when you look at the reason and find out in Yellowstone. Have you ever heard this story? You gotta hear some shit. Once upon a time, the cousin of man's best friend was public enemy number one, and wolves got put on a list. And the reason why? Well, if wolves didn't hate us before, they had a really good reason to now. Basically, in the before time, settlers came on the scene with their livestock, mostly cattle. As the practice of agriculture grew, animals on the wolves' grocery list, like buffalo, started disappearing from the aisles. All it took were a few going after livestock for America to declare a war on wolves. Any wolf that was spotted within the same area code as livestock was immediately taken yeah. on the census with brutal revenges. At one point, even the U.S. Army showed up and got their shots up. To add insult to in 1883, there was a law passed that prohibited hunting of most animals in the park. And when you should know, wolves were not most animals. Wolves were really? justified by calling wolves an undesired predator and implied that the environment would be better off without them. What? It used to be a very good no, fucking research at all. But yeah. if you broke into my house, replaced most of the food. No, oh, no, but if you got rid of the wolves, how are you? Go- how did you guys end up. <laughs> I fucked it up. <laughs> hold on, I messed it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One more time, one more time. Guys, if you if they got rid of the wolves, there would never be a such thing as alpha male and all this, <laughs> all this beta shit. Like, oh my gosh, bro! Did you know that so, a guy? It was a a guy that made that up. By the way, he, he it was a mistake that he made that up. By the way, I just want to let you guys know that 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 alpha male and beta male shit does not exist, bro. They did that's just something that people had tried to adapt into their livelihoods. To try to be the, the alpha male thingy. Just let you guys know. And then turn me and my family to chalk out lunch, touching the ground beef you left in my Be yourself. Now, now guys, don't be what you're not. From Reddit incel to Tiana Trump, Trump. How screwed do you think we were after we basically squad wiped the house? Because eventually, you're going to you're gonna recoil back into your yourself. I, I Into your old self. I, I promise you. Don't go there, Rose. It was magical. Okay, I love every second of it. I was waiting for the... Yeah, You'll feel a lot smaller right now. Uh-huh. Black porn star. Haven't yeah. experienced yeah. that myself. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's in the movies. Yeah. Watch them. Watch more so movies. Yeah. 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 This is real. Right. Let's see. Uh, you, you got, got casting, casting couch. couch without wall oh. line oh. top. Oh. 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 It did not disappoint. Yeah. Yeah. That was perfect timing. Unless you got out of pocket, and they ate the area code. 
Because even, even with cougars, coyotes, coyotes and, and even bears, bears the main, main thing keeping the elk down got put on a newspaper by us, and as a result, it shook the land of vegetation. But it actually went deeper than that. Without the threat of wolves keeping the elk on the move, the elk were able to stay in one place and eat that place completely clean. Animals that relied on wolves' leftovers like ravens, magpies, and even bears had to get their protein elsewhere. And if that wasn't bad enough, one, one of the things that the elk destroyed was the willow. The same willow that damn building beavers needed to survive. Really? The same beavers responsible for creating wetlands. Which meant yet another Jenga block that hit the hardwood. And I like to imagine the wolves that got murked on site. Watch this all go down from the afterlife like... Yeah, ain't that a bit. It got to the point where we had the airdrop wolves back to Yellowstone to try to even reverse the damage. And by the time we did that, there was only one colony of beavers left. Today there's about a hundred wolves left in Yellowstone after we did everything in our power to abolish them. Because removing the keystone species is like leaving a toxic relationship. But then your life gets worse and worse until you realize you were the problem. It's honestly the butterfly effect served on Trent. And again, you never know which block's going to be the game over. For example, one of these guys was one of the first animals to be identified as a keystone species. Any idea which one? It was actually the purple sea star. This is Robert Payne. He's a zoologist who was credited with coming up with the keystone concept. He's also six foot six. Mm. God, that's pretty nice. To better, to better understand, understand how nature and all the things in it are connected, Payne ventured out to a bay near Washington State, where he, he proceeded to... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I don't care about starfish either. I get it. He's from species. I'm gonna make my wife finish the video. I've never killed an animal, so I don't think it doesn't matter. Goddamn. Really? Really? You never killed an animal? <laughs> Man. Yo. I haven't went hunting before, though. Should I... Re I don't know if that would be allowed to do such things like that. I don't know if I would, like, you know, to, you know what I mean? Like, to record myself going hunting or something one day when I actually do it. You know? Because, like, that's actually, that's, what the fuck? Why am I subscribed to them? What the fuck? Anyway, but, like, that would legit be epic, man. I'll be honest. Like, to be able to, like, sh like you know, show you guys my, my hunting and, Make it all cool and dramatic and shit. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Because, I mean, like, come on. 